And we saw the power of the Nautilus Oriana from SK Telecom back when we cast the Telecom War at Kilios. And guys gonna take the blasting plan. They will meet each other. Puts the ward first. Here we go. Yeah, so doesn't do this blindly. See Cuve starting to wrap around. Get there in time. Haru jumps forward. Mowgli's gonna have to dash out of here. Burns the flash to try to keep himself alive. Cuve comes over the wall. The Shadow Dash comes through, and that's first blood crucially going over to Crown on the rise. Had to use his ghost and flash to secure the kill. Now you look at his record, four and one. You're like, okay, this guy, they're working around him. Do you remember who those games were against, though? Is oh, look at this. Burrow, way too far forward, flashes away, and that last auto attack comes through just way too far up in the lane. He gets punished for it. Two kills over to Crown in less than four minutes. See that first back coming through for Crown. Already has the tier and the Boots of Lucidity. Good pressure there by Marin. Meanwhile, okay. the bottom lane, that's just going to be Tucson getting absolutely annihilated. See, though, still... Windows of opportunity for them to try to turn this around. They're going to do so right here in the mid lane. Dredge line coming down onto Crown. Shockwave comes through. Stand United won't finish channeling in time for Cuba to arrive. But even so, he might not have wanted to. So Crown will just go down. That's one kill on the board now for Afrika. The tier's been stacking up. Crown is going to hit a critical mass pretty early into the game. And it's, again, it's like you say about the rise. It's Kuro. Yeah, Haru. Jumping in onto Kuro. Lands the bullet. Does he want to keep going? Uh, hesitated. Both summoners now, too. Yeah, but they get the flash of the ghost away from him, or the cleanse away from him. So still going to be a nice visitation into, into that mid lane, but likely could have come up with a kill if they had just pulled the trigger on it. Getting some regular play out of their stars is what Afrika needs to do if they hope to make it to us. QV walking forward with that shadow dash. Now going to be jumped on by Mowgli. Death charge comes through. Flashes away, but the dredge line comes out. Dodge out that damage from the end of the line. They slow him up with the Riptide. And this should be a dead shed. Oh. Shield at last second. Won't be enough to keep him alive. Almost able to trade one back onto Marin. Gonna be working on that Hurricane. So pick that up anytime soon. Har pushing forward. Throws out a bullet. Does fine. Mowgli, nice juke away from the Ash Arrow. Stop getting him stunned up, but he still goes low. Volley over the wall takes him down to about half HP. Ruler tossing out the Deadly Flourish. Connects onto Mowgli. Shots going through. Nobody's body blocking him. One more would do it. Tucson finally steps in front. But is the damage done? Realm Warp coming through. Crown goes forward. Trying to find the damage to take out the Graves, but he just won't be able to get that Q connecting. So, Freak of Freaks able to limp out of their jungle, but barely so. Didn't actually even draw the Standing Knight. His teleport was down from QV. Marin didn't find a spot to teleport. Could have gone so much worse for a Freak of Freaks. They lost one member. It would likely have been two. So many members leaving on blinking health bars. They're going to look for the first brick that Freak are unable to pick up, but they're going to try to teleport Marin coming in. So they can force this up. Tucson getting locked down. Roots come through. There's just nothing the Lulu can do. He gets taken out. Meanwhile, Crown getting popped up by the Death Charge. Stand United finally being channeled by Cube, keeping him alive. Dredge line out from Marin. Gets himself to safety. Crown's going to have to peel back. Has to respect the damage that Mowgli can output in an instant with that end of the line. They'll get the turret. They'll get the kill. They'll go ahead and peel back. Mowgli coming up towards this top side of the map should be showing pretty soon. Meanwhile, old Koro might just get jumped on in mid, flashes away. Bola will not connect, so he gets himself out, but Summoner spelled down yet again. What do you think it'll take to see something like uh, the Tristana pick here in Korea, Papa Smith? You saw Uzi playing that the other day. I'll have to hold that thought, actually. Realm Warp coming in on top of Koro. He pops on the Shockwave immediately, but does not matter. He goes down. Stand United committed onto Haru just to keep him safe. Underneath that turret, and that's going to be a second one. Looking for another one. Marin does have the TP available. But so does Cuban. They're going to go ahead and commit this one. Ruler flashes away, but gets caught by the Axe Arrow immediately into the dredge line. He's going to be dead. Tries to trade a little bit of damage back, but that is going to put a halt to Samsung pushing in for that last outer turret. Samsung pick up the gold. It's mid lane. Haru going for a thrilling hunt. Can't really find a target to go on to yet. Meanwhile, Ruler, he gets engaged on the whole shebang that Freaka have to offer. Trail Lawrence comes down. Tucson gets popped up. He's actually the first one to die. Ruler's still alive in the backside of the fight for the longest time. Finally goes down as Marin finds the kill. The crown wrapping around from the top lane. They lock him Ooh. down. And that is going to be a double kill going over to Haru. Koro just not able to do anything. See if Samsung will clump up. Oh, Ash Arrow comes through. Connects on the court. JJ, they commit the shockwave. While he comes through, that's enough to take him out. So nice pick coming through from Afrika. Haru waiting in the brush. We'll get spotted. Comps are so similar that, oh, finally a teleport again. Yeah, deep TP coming through. Crown going to have to try to get out of here. Pops her up. Warp with the Zonias. Takes uh, him out to safety. Needs to be earlier with that one. If he's going to pull it off. Wave clear. Mm. 
My Ooh. favorite. Curtain call. That's some action. Kramer getting jumped on. Flashes away from Haru immediately. But now Tucson is going to be the target. Likely will go down. There it is. He'll picked up by Haru. Now ground pitching on the backside. Locks down Kramer. Stringledorns come through. He gets popped up. And that's going to be a double kill going over to the Rengar. And there's more action in the bottom lane. Cuve at half HP. But you see how the one thing on works out. That's a rumble. Well, we didn't see West. Straight to Baron. Yeah. Bjergsen style. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're going right in for it. Burrow does have that shockwave available. Might be able to disrupt this crown. Trying to stop him from pushing forward, but he takes too much damage. He's going to have to peel back. Sand United coming through on top of him just to keep him healthy. Mowgli now wrapping around. Can he get the seal? No. Flashes in straight into the taunt. Cuve says hello and thank you. Goodbye. They pick up the Baron. They pick up an exiting kill. There's nothing a Freaker can do. Marin's made so many great teleport plays. One or two of them. Not of his usual standard, but in general it's been... Oh boy, Kramer getting locked down. Ash Arrow comes through. Roller has to. Go ahead. And get away from Mowgli who comes in on the sidelines. That nope. does keep Kramer alive for now. Not convinced of the wild growths. As, uh, okay, slowly killing the Shen. Yep, dodge field middle. <laughs> Doing a lot of work there. Meanwhile, getting the damage, but that's going to be Haru and Crown pushing down into this bottom lane. Haru's still staying invisible, doesn't want to show himself in case somebody tries to come down in 1v1. The rise, they will be able to break the turret in bot and in mid. Now Mowgli pushing forward, deep TP coming through from Marn on the backside. They're looking for Ruler, sipping his way in. Mowgli gets slowed up by the trap. Ruler still, Ruler <laughs> still has the flash, and they're just going to have to abandon the chase. Optimistic was the teleport, but they know they have to make something happen. Just so, so hard to pull oh, it off. And they get him with the wraparound. We're going to walk straight into the face of Marn. Here comes the root. And uh, this should be him going down, perhaps. That flash away. The heal comes out. A little bit more damage. There it is. Collateral picks him up. But that is still going to be Mowgli paying for that one with his life. And Marin will follow suit. So they kill the Jin yet again. But it's another double kill over to Haru. And he's like, whoo! Feeling hot in here. I mean, Haru's been racking up the kills. So gonna have to be fanning himself at the top of the MVP ladder if he's to pick up the MVP <laughs> for this game. And he's gonna look to go in. 8 0 and 1 Rengar, the t most scary. The Dusk Blade. He's got Dusk, he's through. got full lethality build. <laughs> he just needs a Ghost Blade. That was nerfed, so he decided to skip over it. Oh, man. There's multiple ways to join his squad in this bottom side, or he can just walk his way over. And when Haru gets this far ahead, Throw of the Hunt is legitimately terrifying. He will one-shot basically every member short of Marin on the lineup. Cubay's not very interested in Marin. Nope. Doesn't care about anything other than taking out that turret, so line does get broken. Hell, he might even get that in him first. Crown gets jumped on, though. Standing 99. Sony is the dodge out on the Shockwave. Keeps him alive. Now the curtain call gets opened up on the backside by Ruler. Sniping away as best as he can. Flash forward by Marin. Throws on the depth charge on the ground. Pops him up the backside, but he still makes it out relatively safely. Where JJ will go down, and now Samsung. Do they want to just leave, or do they want to try to throw this one around? Looks like they might just have to retreat. Three members fall. Haru and Crown, the only two that'll make it out with their lives. Crown goes back in, trades a lot of damage down onto Kramer. Flash forward from Mowgli. Can he finish off the rise? And the line will not connect. And Crown's just barely keeping himself up. Watch Haru! With shields. Haru goes back forward, takes out Kramer, and he'll be able to walk away with that kill. No one can do a damn thing to the Rengar. Dredge line burned down, trying to catch Crown, won't come up with much. He's just taking the long round, trying to wrap around, join the rest of his team. Elder Dragon currently at a half HP of Freakin. They push back in, they re-engage it. 3,000 health on it. Did Samsung come up with it? No, they cannot. Mowgli picks up the kill, but can they get kills onto Samsung is going to be the question. Marlon gets popped back up, healed up by the Redemption. And now Freak of Freaks, they're going to go ahead and, and try to retreat through the jungle. Super Creep starting to knock down those Nexus turrets, but they're still relatively healthy for now. Catch comes through, only rooting down Marin yet again. Not the target that anybody wants. Haru pops through the hunt, but can't find an entry. Samsung, they shove him back, but they lose that Elder Dragon. They're going to have to take Baron instead. But so far, Marin has been impervious in the front line. There's not a front line now. He's going in the back. Yeah, TPing into the lane. Full shot won't connect to slow him up. He pops the Death Charge out on the court. JJ flash away. Crown gets hit by that Ash Arrow. Trying to target Marin in the front line. So far, it's the only thing that they really have access to. He goes back with the dredge line. Almost is able to pop that Guardian Angel on Cube. He'll be able to make it out. Keeps that cooldown up. Big 700 plus heal coming through onto that Nautilus. Keeping him healthy. Haru and Crown getting a lot of damage down onto this turret in mid, but they still can't finish it off yet. So suddenly Haru, who did end up going full damage, absolute full damage, every lethality item and armor penetration item he could fit, he just can't get to the backline. He can't dive past the Nautilus. 
We will finally get the third inhibitor turret, though. Take that out. QB going forward. See a lockdown on Amari. Takes a little bit of damage. Room connects with the Deadly Flourish. Here comes Haro right into the Whoa. back line. Takes out Tucson. Absolutely destroys him. Ruler gets dragged in, however, with a shockwave. Two-man taunt going through QB. Can they follow up with the kills? The answer is going to be yes. As Mowgli goes down, it's going to be Core JJ picking that one up. And they lose ground. They're losing Aim Core JJ. It. Now it's just QB all on his lonesome inside the base. A triple kill going over to the Kramer. All the inhibitors are up. Afrika, they get a second lease on life. Credit to Afrika. It took 40 minutes, 35 you could say, but they've warmed up. They're back. They're thinking oh, about this. back in on the bar, and the rest Mar of the team is front. warming up. He's trying fine. to find Haru. Good Ash Arrow to stop the Ruler Ultimate. This is the team playing around a strong team fight. They should never have got to this spot with how far behind they were and still are. But they could legitimately win this game. Yep, Dredge Line coming through the front cube base. Gonna take a short Shadow Dash. Trying to taunt off Bar, who again is just feeling very free to soak up this damage in the front line. Shockwave on comes through, only lands on a cube base. Still has that Guardian Angel. Collateral damage. Just chunk out Crow JJ and Haro a little bit. Ground is out at the moment. Can't find his way in. They lock down cube. Still makes it out, has to flash to keep himself alive, but Guardian Angel now going to be gone. First in a turret is at 47 minutes into the game. Ruler getting hit yet again, and Cleanse coming through, keeps him safe, but the turret is collapsing. Mowgli getting hit up, Wild Growth comes through, keeping the Graves alive. Last shot, not going to connect, Howard goes into the back line. There's a hell of a lot of damage onto Kramer, but still can't come up with the pick. Samsung pushing forward, Realm Warp coming down, uh -oh. everybody jumping in, the Ruler, he's right in the front line, he gets caught by the dredge line, he'll go down as Koro picks up the kill, but that's two members dead on the side of Afrika Freaks with the GA pop from Marin. They're trying to lock him down, there we go, Crown finally gets that last Q through, three for one, they trade up in such a big way, and now they're looking for more, TP to that top side, or rather, the uh, where did he go? <laughs> I'm confused. He went to the top lane. Okay. Oh, I thought I was looking at Crown for some reason. I'm stupid. But the first time they finally Forget got it. them out of the base. TP to the top way. You can see how important it was to finally get them out of the base. The Realm Warp was big, got them in the back line, they got the access they needed. They're going to try and finish the game before the respawns, and Samsung, what a crazy game. A weird one. It looked like it was going one way, and they were stalled out for, what, 15, 20 minutes? Yeah. But they should ultimately win the game here. Effectively fried my brain from all the back and forth here in the last half. Cubay pushing forward finds Kuro, just trying to lock him down long enough for the turrets to go down, which they will. And Samsung, eight seconds left on Kramer and Mowgli. Nexus exposed, they have plenty of damage for this. They take it out. Almost a 50 minute game. Should have been a lot cleaner than it was. So 7.4, pretty big nerf to Maokai, both mana costs and also other factors. So they maintain that, definitely help out the team. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, Tucson gonna get exhausted, flashes away, gets rooted down. It's gonna be the GP ultimate coming through, flash forward from Haru. Trying to get the kill, the heal comes out from Kramer, he jumps back in, there it is, first blood. Coming up, Haru puts another on the board. Yeah, get that big burst. Meanwhile, bottom lane, trying to find a play onto Kramer. Kurt Call comes through, he's gonna pop the heal already, the tether. Now coming through from court, JJ, Haru jumps in, finds Tucson as a target, but he gets locked up with the Ash Arrow, and he's gonna get deleted. Tucson comes up with the killing blow, meanwhile up top, Weaver's Wall comes down, Kube getting locked up. Runs off the root with the orange. Flashes away. Threat volley still coming through. They should have the cooldowns to take him out. There we go. Two kills. Very swiftly put on the board by a freak of freaks across the map. Maybe finding a third. Core JJ. Walking in. Spot Spirit. He'll be able to walk back in underneath this turret. But looks like Samsung are going to have to abandon this. I mean, they've been doing that role for 17 years. The first X-Men movie came out in 2000. Ground taking a lot of damage. So I did volley coming through. So as the flash of the ghost, he's going to pop the ladder. Gonna keep himself alive. Shockwave not gonna connect. He's a little bit more damage on the back end. He does make it out with the flash still up, but rough trading coming through. They are at least tempo advantage right now as Kuro. Oh, Kuro's gonna flash over the wall, throws out the threaded volley. Oh. Barely not in range to come up with the last hit. Brown makes his way out, but flash for flash. So both of the mid laners spells, the summoner spells will be down at the end of that, but Afrika. Move it down, they take out the first dragon of the game. We're probably gonna see full damage once again as... Oh, boy, uh -oh. Brown getting pinched up, does not have the flash to get himself out of here. Pops the shockwave, but just no damage coming through. He goes down, Spirit picks up the kill. Yeah, good. Weaver's wall from Kura. Leaving lane, then darting straight into mid. Nothing Crown could do in that scenario. Uh-oh. This is the opposite of Snowball, and... Here comes the backline dive. TP coming through. That's going to be the Weaver's no Wall. Cutting go. off Crown and Haru. Haru's already invisible, so it might just be the Oriana going down. Throws out that shockwave to try to delay the rest of the team from coming through, but it just doesn't do enough. 
Kramer comes up with the kills. Crown goes down. Yeah, really nice Talia wall. Nowhere to run for Crown. Dies twice during his flash duration. So trading flash is looking like a genius move now that they've punished it twice. Samsung, they will start up this dragon. Spirit's been chunked down a little bit. Infernal for a full damage. The collateral call. damage, but he won't be able to find it. Actually, Dragon gets last hit by a ruler, so a seal would have been very realistic. R jumps in over the wall, has to flash out immediately. Knocks down Koro to about half HP. Ruler won't be able to get the connection onto the graves. They can't follow up off the slow. Big comp to pick up Infernal Drake on Achilles when you have damage on Memphis. Oh, ruler. Ruler cool. pops the heal. Still holds on to the flash, though, but just an odd spot to be in. Gets pinched in by multiple members, but he makes it out alive. Cube is quite far forward. He's going to go ahead and start the recall on the brush, but Kramer is very close by. Throws out the Ash Arrow. It connects. Barnes here to follow up, and this is almost certainly going to be a dead GP. He's going to try to trade one back onto Kramer. Big chunk of damage coming through. The Wild Growth is there to keep the Ash alive. Cannon Barrage won't get those last few hits in. Definitely would have been a kill if not for the Lulu, but still. Cube goes down. There's three members sent only to get a kill bot. Now, if they can get the pressure in mid lane, that's something. I mean, look how much damage they're getting down onto this one. Karma throwing out that mantra Q, and they'll just be able to force this up. So even with that many people allocated to the bot lane to kill the gangplank, they still get an inner turret in mid. We know you can be SKT, but if you could just 2-0 Jin Air, that'd be great. <laughs> it would be. Speaking of uh, two zeros, Frika. Looking to put two more kills on the board. They're only finding Crown, though. Weaver's Wall not able to cut off Core JJ. He's able to exit up around the backside of that Baron pit, so he won't get caught out. And here we go. Crown dead for 10 more seconds. Will not be able to join the fight. Juice and flashing away from that deadly flourish, but now the Kirk Hulk gets opened up on the backside. Thousand on the Baron. Baron. Baron going low. 3K here. Horror waiting over the wall. Jukes out on the Ash Arrow. Goes into the pit. Can he go with the seal? No, it's not going to happen. Spirit takes it away. They get rid of the Rangar. And that's going to send Samsung heading for the hills. There is Death Cap on Crown, which is going to be a lot of burst damage. But if that's negated by a Redemption or a good play from Afrika, this game will probably end very short. Yeah, needs that Shockwave to come up with multiple kills. Throwing the shield on the QV, but even he can't really push up far enough to try to land this. So the turret will just go down. Inhibitor now exposed in mid. Another oh, split push coming down from Kramer and Tucson in the bottom lane, already getting down onto this inhib turret. And they are just chunking this out. Weaver's wall coming through, just completely nice. cutting them off. Really nicely done by Kuro. The first inhib will fall. 30 minutes on the clock. Afrika, how much more can they get? Good question. Kurt call open up. Kuro going to be the target. Takes a bit of damage, but the redemption, redemption will come down. Heals them back up. They jump on to Marin. Should be able to take out the Maokai. They do so. Crown comes up with a kill, and now Afrika. And they find their way outside of the base. Spear goes over the wall. Media Exhaust comes down. Don't get too much damage through. Redemption from Samsung popping them back up. Oh! Big seismic shove. Crown goes down. Kramer coming up with the kill as he's just sitting inside the base. Front firing up over top of the wall. A triple kill. Let's make it a quadra. Can he get the Penta? He's hunting down Haru as best as possible. The volley will connect for the slow. Can he finish it out? Lens off coming through. They slow him with the smoke Why screen. Haru. This? He's going to be out of here. They really want the pentakill, but the rest of Afrika Freaks, they're focusing on the win. They'll be able to take this out and win it right here. 30 minutes on the clock. Haru, did they miss up the handoff? There we go. Pentakill goes over to Kramer right at the end of the game. Happy Kramer Day, buddy. You got it in the end. And they will come up with a win, which means Afrika Freaks are taking us to game number three. The Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde of League of Legends continues for the Afrika Freaks. The same team that just died solo in lanes in game one. Turn it around in game two in emphatic fashion. Oriana is not popular in this particular series. So smart go. call there. Look at you. You're the color caster now. He's going to walk into the brush, however. Haru jumps forward. He can take that dredge line out. Just going to flash away instead. We couldn't see for sure. Some players do go two into Riptide, so the flash probably suggests they didn't have access to the Q that time. If it was waiting for him to stand next to a wall for the flash heroic charge, but so far Marin hasn't responded with it. Well, Dredge line comes through. That's going to be the opening here. Now Marin has no way of getting out. Red buff's not there from Haru, but it does not matter. This will almost certainly still be that first blood coming through. Eventually, one more hit. There we go. Haru picks it up. Was such a waiting game. In the end, the Q going out was enough to guarantee the kill on Marin with no flash. Regardless, we'll ignore that for now. Oh boy, his verdict coming through. Marin gonna throw out that depth charge. Gonna stop him from using that dredge line, but he saves it for the end. He'll be able to make his way out safely. Pretty greedy. No Merc treads. You know, some other mid laners would consider going 
Boots and the Null Magic Man is still dealing with the Cassio, but trusting for the Catalyst to be another spot. Oh, down bot. Yeah, we're going to have to get a replay of this one to see. I mean, I think we can kind of guess how things transpired. Haru comes in, takes out two, and they follow up with another one swiftly onto Kramer. Two kills picked up by Samsung. Nicely done in the bottom lane. I'm guessing this started with the Abyssal Voyage and then maybe followed up with Throw of the Hunt, but not sure when those cooldowns were used or measured out. Nice stuff here. So we're going to see the replay. And wow, it's actually in the Throw of the Hunt. Yeah. Abyssal Voyage comes in. Did mean that he would have a leap available to him the moment that he came through. First time I've seen that interaction, but certainly very successful. Lots of hard engage from Samsung in the bot lane. Things are looking really good here for Samsung as they finish knocking down this first turret. TP will be committed here by Marn into the bottom lane. Going to be matched by Kyube, but it's going to be a bit later. First verdict avail is available. He wants to try to eject somebody. Throws it out. Won't find anybody. Just a couple minions. Devourer was keeping Stitch alive, but now the Dredge Line comes through onto Haro. He jumps back in, just trying to trade some damage for his life, but won't get much. Crown arriving, but might just have to be the peelback from both teams. Spirit splitting in mid, getting some damage down onto that tier one turret. Looks like Ooh. that's going to be it. Big hit comes through on Koro, but they can't follow up for the kill. Yuve yeah. all in his lonesome down bot. A lot of wave clear on the poppy. Yeah, just has the Q to rely on. But now the wraparound coming Watch through. The Realm Crown. Warp. Realm Warp's available, as is the Abyssal Voyage. They can just drag everybody in right now. Realm Warp popped. Bait them out. Crown will go in by himself. Now cut off, but it doesn't matter. The rest of Samsung is here on top of the Afrika Freaks. Wild Growth used on top of Zeus and himself. Haru goes over the wall, trying to get on top of Marn. Crown comes in with a flash, locks him down, takes him out with the overload. One picked up for Samsung. Can they get more? Afrika are poking around, trying to contest the Grom. They will be able to take that away, but it looks like that's going to be the end of the, of the engage. Oh. Well, that wasn't good. Koro walked into Control Ward, looked for a pick, but... Not to find one on Poppy. The late game will be really interesting, because as you say, we have to draw parallels to... Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Coral comes up with that double petrifying gaze. Exhaust comes down onto him, but the damage has been done. Poor JJ and Haru down to about half HP. Who's chasing who? Rift Herald is just one of those things where you just almost never see fights over it. If not even engaged. Engaged, but speaking of engagements, Martin coming in with a TP. He's not fast enough to get in range for a dredge line. It's going to be Afrika. We're trying to get set up for this dragon here. Flash away from by Kramer. Keeps him out of range of that Ash arrow. Not getting hit yet. At least the dragon. Risky. They do have a bit of consistent damage here from the Cassio. Watch Rise on the backside. HP. Haru coming in. Reverting thrown out. Go ahead. They eject the Cassio Bia, but it's going to be Dragon going over to Spirit all the same. Marin taking up this damage in the front line. Going to get wild growth for even more HP. We'll see, can they find a re-engagement? Dredge line not going to connect. Looks like both teams will just go ahead and go their separate ways. In the disarray, a big rise combo wasn't to be found in this game. They're threatening a dive. Coro flashing in, trying to get that petrifying gaze down. Only finds slows on a crown and stitch, but they do get a lot of damage down on a Cube. He'll come out from the ash, trying to keep the poppy alive. Or JJ has to pop that gray health and flash, respectively. Missile Voyage up to the top side. Haru and Joe jumps in onto Koro. Petrifying Gaze catches Core JJ. So we can't follow up with the Devourer, but they jump forward. And the Wild Growth won't do enough. He goes down. Haru claims the kill. Now, can they get out? Looks like the pinch is not going to come through from the rest of Afrika. They'll go ahead and peel back. And Cube pushing really far forward. Kuro's coming around the sidelines. Red Climb to draw him in. Keeper's Verdict comes out. Oh, right between the two. Petrifying Gaze to lock nice. him up. That's going to be a dead poppy. Kill goes over to Marin. With Flash, Heal, Arcane Shift, and Lulu to help him out. Look at this aggression on the Stitch. Oh, yes, yeah, Stitch going low. Has to pop the heal. Lateral damage won't take him out, but takes him dangerously low. Got to get rid of that Ash Arrow as well. TP coming through from Marin. They're just going to go ahead, force up onto this Tier 1 turret. The wave's not there, though. Giving over the TP advantage for the Ocean Drake is not exactly the best feeling in the world. Will go down. Dola out of the fight. Spirit takes this out. Stun into the wall on a Spirit. Wild Growth comes through. He flashes away from the Bola. He'll take him out. Petrifying Gaze not going to catch anybody. And Afrika will go ahead and be able to back away with that Ocean Drake. But now Samsung going to be looking for that Tier 1 in mid. They really want to make this map longer. Get more spots to look for a dive with Throw the Hunt. Rotate as they well. They're the on the Baron. Yeah, they go straight in for the Baron. They have vision control here. Marin can't Recall be there. came through from Marin. He's going to be sprinting his way back in. True Shot Barrage will reveal it. But they take it out. Smite comes through. Flash away from Kramer as he gets locked up by the Ash Arrow. Nicely done by Samsung. Excellent shot calling. Yep. You know, do you want to help out the rest of your team and eventually lose that in-hip turret? Or do you 
just want to sit here and wave clear endlessly against Crown. Looks like it's going to be the latter. Kramer is joining up in the top lane. Is that build water colors? But this is the Abyssal Voyage coming through. Cuve in tow with Court JJ. They arrive. Dredge line connects in onto the Poppy. So pretty tanky, though. As they try to kite back, Asher will not connect from Stitch. Calls that one out from inside the jungle. Looks like that might just be the end of the scuffle. But meanwhile, Haru got the minions moving up into the bottom lane. He should be able to take out that inner turret. And we have that history lesson. Think back to game one where Frigga got everything pushed except for the bases. Once again, Kramer turns on Stitch and forces the Devour. But closing this game, once they start hitting turret, it's going to be difficult. Oh, they're looking for Haru. Grab back in, flash forward into the line. Won't connect for JJ here to back him up. Devour is back off cooldown. Nobs him up, spits him out. Haru is safe. And you can see the frustration on Spirit. He's actually not had a kill involvement in this game. 33 minutes in. It's only zero, been two zero, kills. Zero. Like you say, only been two kills, but that's why we saw the kind of angsty flash and ult, hoping to get one on the board. How much do they want Core JJ? Well, they get the flash. He gets the flash away, so nicely done. Can't flash in for a Devour to save somebody. Dragon gets started up and leashed out by Afrika. Scrying it. Ward comes down, Haru on the backside oh, won't be there for the steal. He just wants to get the assassination, jumps onto Kramer in the back line. Redemption pops him back up, so he's relatively healthy for now. But Flying Gaze won't find anybody with the dredge line. Connects it onto QB, dragging him back in. Devour comes through from Core. JJ just trying to keep him alive for a bit longer. Now jumping over onto Crown, trying to kite his way out of the fight. Won't be able to do so. Spirit comes up with a kill, and QB is almost certainly going to go down. There it is. One last Mystic Shot. Takes him out. Infernal Drake plus two to a freak of freak. Super cool fight. It looks like Samson with the big win is coming in on multiple flanks. Uh. But this Afrika team fighting comp is very, very powerful. If Cassiopeia and Ezreal stay together, Peel for each other specifically, holding onto the Petrifying Gaze to buy space for the Ezreal. The turn after Haru's dive doesn't pick up a kill. After Ryze goes in, is massive from Afrika. Death time is already pretty long, and this time with even extra tools, team fighting is no walk in the park for Samsung Galaxy. Yeah, Mountain Drake plus Infernal. You can see Samsung. They just can't push up to try to clear out these waves. Ten that seconds on Rise. The inhib line being broken by Afrika Freaks. 35 and a half minutes. They're able to do it. It looked like it would work when Crane was DPS out, but still Ezreal able to arcane shift out and then turn onto. Samsung, who are overextended. It was a really cool fight. Oh, Core JJ. We get him overextended. Ash Arrow now comes through. Spirit getting locked up. It's going to be Keeper's Verdict. Ejects Tucson and Kramer out of the fight, but they're already on top of Stitch, and he goes down. Kuro coming up with the kill, and now Kube has to run for his life. Petrifying Gaze over the wall just to try to slow him up. He's still sprinting as fast as his little Yordle legs will take him. Should be able to make it out with his life, but that's going to be Stitch going down. A lot of the consistent damage from the side of Samsung has been eliminated. And you have to think that that will be Baron being started up by Afrika. Yeah, Samsung keep trying to come in front on. They don't have the capabilities to do so. So we see the turn on to Baron for Afrika Freaks. And core JJ pushing up the river. Everybody on Afrika relatively healthy. Snatch up comes through on the ground, but the Devourer is there trying to keep him alive. Cube might just have to die for his team, and he does. Realm Warp comes through right before the dredge line. We'll take them out to safety, but Baron goes over to the Afrika Freaks. Yeah, the front on doesn't work. You cannot run straight with your ults into a Freak of Freaks and expect to win a fight. No one can lock down the Ezreal, always out of range of Crown. The kite back has been super good, and they will lose their top lane inhibitor turret, so not everything is going exactly as you want. The minion waves were very well prepped by Samsung Galaxy, but maybe the next minion wave, they look for a big ultimate from Mara, and they want to brute force down the second inhibitor. Well, the hunt coming out, Haru looking to pinch from the sidelines, but the turret has been broken, and Freak of Freaks fiercely shove inside the base and take out that second inhibitor. No latitude for Haru. There's no way for him to actually get in the fight. Red line connecting on the core. JJ Redemption coming down. A little bit of damage in. Haru jumps forward, but can't get much. Now Cube having to run. Devour comes out before JJ yet again. Stitch dead. Alive, but Stitch goes down, and this might just be the end of the game in favor of Afrika. Spirit going forward fearlessly with a flash, trying to get some damage in. Almost goes down. Does right at the end of that last turret shot, but that might not be enough to dissuade Afrika Freaks. Marin's still here, has that Guardian Angel up, still does not have it popped. Kramer has no mana though, this could be actually pretty tricky to close, I think it's smart for a Freaker to back away. Alright, looks like they will go ahead and do just that, they get the one Nexus turn, almost take out the second, can't quite finish it off. Next five minutes and they're certainly in the driver's seat to do so. They got everything they were looking for in that push, except for ending the game. 
you just see Samsung, they just don't really have an idea of how to win these fights. And they're not getting the sort of catches that they were able to in game And one. they're not here to try to stop this Elder Dragon from going down, despite the fact that Spirit was dead. That very well could have just been a smite take by Haru. Now Samsung need the God fight. They need to pull off something against the buffs, against the flow of the game, against the comps. Well, it's already a dredge line in on a stitch. He has to get devoured right off the bat. Tucson. Some damage in on tomorrow. Tucson gets jumped onto the back line. Has to use a wild growth onto himself. Yubei going forward. Gets popped up immediately. Big petrifying gaze. Locks up for JJ and Stitch. They take out the Ash dredge line on the ground, forcing the flash away. But the members of Samsung are just dying all over the place. Kyubei comes back up. The GA gets popped. Haru goes in, trying to assassinate this Edriel, but he just can't do it. Kramer goes forward to the Arcane Shift, finds himself a double kill. And with three members dead, effectively, all five of them, because Crown and Kyubei can't do a damn thing. That will be game number three. Going over to a Freak of Freaks. 42 minutes on the clock. They come up with a win.